And we are back at 90.7 The Music FM. This is Jay. What you just heard was Bob O'Reilly with The Blue. And you listen um, to this around the campus at 90.7 The Music FM. Got my interview here with Steve Petty. How you doing? I'm doing, Jared. What's going on? Uh, it's doing really good. So we are back from New York City. It was a pretty crazy trip. You went to see the Big 12 basketball, the Big 10 basketball tournament, excuse me. What games did you see? Let's see. We saw Penn State come back and defeat the Ohio State Buckeyes by one in probably one of the greatest college basketball games I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Purdue and Rutgers, and we became the biggest Rutgers fans for about two and a half hours, and then sheer disappointment mm -hmm. when Purdue beat them up. But all in all, it was a great experience, and where we sat at Madison Square Garden mm -hmm was absolutely unbelievable. Well, we did, well, um, did you do, how much, how many of the, um, was the IBCS convention, how many of those sessions did you attend? I attended more than most of us in the group. Yeah, same here. I, I think I've attended most, most of them. I mean, some of, the, some of them I liked, some of them I didn't like so much. I mean, they kind of varied. I liked the video sessions. So which, tell me about the sessions you attended. Well, we attended the keynote speaker and then she was talking about her new book, which I kind of somewhat not paid attention to, obviously. And then I went to a, we're supposed to go meeting with a, a sports writer from New York, and he couldn't make it nine times out of ten because he was probably covering the Big Ten tournament across the street. And then we went to, then I went to a, uh, another sports roundtable with all different sports directors from around the country. So that was Friday, and then went to the garden and, yeah, did Madison Square Garden. Then Saturday, we were one of the lead discussions in the community college roundtable. Then I went to a couple of operation managers and general manager meetings throughout the day. All right, um, so you're back here, now we're back here at GCC. Um, so what have you been, so you're the athletic director, right? I am the public address announcer for all GCC athletics. Yeah, well, we'll be starting baseball season. So, um, so what? So what have you been doing around the around the campus recently? Well, uh, mainly men and women's basketball in the winter time, and then in the fall we did soccer, <laughs> and then in the spring coming up I will do baseball, softball, and both men's and women's lacrosse. Great, great. So, uh, so Steve and I have been here at GCC for about ten, for over t for about twelve years. So, um, what are your thoughts on the radio station and the progress it's made? And the so oh, oh, I love the radio station. I've been here since day one, on and off for twelve years. Between going here, going to Oswego, getting my bachelor's, and then ending up working here, so that gives me the opportunity to still be on air, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah. Okay, um, switching gears, we'll to go back to our sports talk. Um, what do you think of Sean Evans signing with the Buffalo Bandits? It's a pretty crazy move. Traitor. Oh, I know. I can't believe it's all the, it's all the, it's all the years with the Nighthawks and all the history. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe Sean Evans is the Bandit. Well, if it makes you happy, the Bandits lost 8-7 to seven to, the, to Colorado, and uh, Sean Evans looked like garbage. That's all right. Both games I attended this year were both Bandits, Nighthawks, and Rochester beat them both. So, I'm I'm good. The Nighthawks are having a crazy year. They start they blow out Calgary in um but they Calgary the Calgary and Buffalo the first two games. They lose six in a row. They then they um put together a three game winning streak. And if you look at the NLL East standings, it's just so tight right now. Yeah, it is. But we can. Get back to the national discussion and also GW just want to run down some stuff that's going on around campus for the athletics department. Of course, we interviewed Brian Fobbs earlier in the show and Ramel Thompson earlier in the show. Men's basketball playing Mercyhurst Friday night at 5.30. At Monroe Community College, Monroe is hosting the Region 3 tournament for both the men and women. And the men will play Erie on Saturday in the semis. If they take care of business on Friday night at 5:30, the other game Friday night at MCC will actually be a good one as well. The Community College of Rhode Island that always comes up here for the Cougar Holiday Classic, they will be playing Niagara at 7:30. Is there so any, that should be a good game there Friday night at MCC? Is there any online feed so we can watch these games live? I'm sure there probably is. You just have to search up Monroe Community College Athletics, and I'm sure they'll have. 
the links there. Women's basketball not going to the postseason. They finished off the year with a record of 7-22, and but they did get away with a 78-62 win on, on February 28th at Mercyhurst. Men's lacrosse starting their season today. They're actually pulling out of the college about 10 minutes ago. They're going up to MCC and taking care of business against the Tribunes. The Cougars, of course, third in the country for men's lacrosse trying to get back to the national championship game, which they were in two years ago, and they ended up winning the national title. The men's first home game will be on March 17th as they take on Nassau here at home. Nassau is ranked second in the country going into the first polls. Baseball and softball are heading to Myrtle Beach for a spring break, and their games down there throughout the week. First home baseball game will be Thursday, April the 5th against Finger Lakes. First home game for softball, Tuesday, April 3rd against Finger Lakes. Softball will start at 3 o'clock, baseball at 2, and hopefully we'll get both of those games on air here on 90.7 FM or on the Facebook Live page on the 90.7 Facebook page. So there's a cheap plug there. Uh, swimming and diving are in Florida for Nationals at Indian River State College. Good luck to all of our swimmers who are competing in individual and team events. Hopefully we'll bring a couple of national titles back home. And then women's lacrosse their first home game is coming up on Wednesday, March 28th against Erie at 4 o'clock. And a couple more signees for the women's lacrosse team. So we should be looking pretty good here for spring athletics. Oh, yeah. GCC looking at the continued dynasty of um, sport, sports championships. We won lacrosse, lacrosse the national title two years ago. And then last October, we won the championship in men's soccer. So and now we'll see what will be the next championship for GCC sports. I'm calling it right now, men's lacrosse. Yeah, it's probably going to be the lacrosse team. I'm calling it. Although I can see the men and women, both the women and men and women's soccer teams coming up next. I mean, I hope um, Brian Fobbs can live up, live up to his play and lead, lead the basketball team to a championship. But anyhow, as you listen to Around the Campus at 9.7 The Music FM, we are about to head back into the music. If you if you want to keep on the conversation or if you have requests, hit me up on my Twitter account at Show. Do you guys have any social media accounts? Nothing yet, but my Twitter account is JRed Show for requests or anything else. Anyhow, also check out our GCC web Twitter account, Genesee Athletics Twitter account. Um, check out our Facebook 90.7. Anyhow, um, coming up next is Guns N' Roses with Welcome to the Jungle. So keep it locked on 9.7 the Music FM.